Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel for part 12 of the Last Stand Aftermath playthrough. Uh, we just made it to, I think, the Sunken City, yes. And we've mapped out a bit of a path that we want to go for so we can hit this safe house and then this military outpost here before crossing the bridge into hell again. With that said, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to get started here. Uh, if you haven't already, leave a like on the video so that way YouTube will put the video in front of more new eyeballs for us. I really appreciate the support that way. It means a lot to me. We've been growing rapidly. And of course, make sure you check the comment section. Oh, shoot. This guy. Check the... Uh, not the comment section, but... Hold on. Hold on. Jeez, those guys. Check the description for a link that'll take you over to a community post to answer your questions for a Q&A video we have coming up to celebrate 3,000 subscribers on the channel. That was a bit hectic thing to start off with. I forgot we start finding those uh, really tanky guys in this spot. Spend some ammo there just to clear out this area a little bit. And now we need to heal up. That was a little chaotic. But we're okay. I wonder if it's better to just kind of like let those guys come at me and just melee them because they're like, they're going to melee me as well. It might knock off the armor a little faster. I don't know. Really hard to say. Anyway, let's go up here. We have this thing right here. Whoa, what's that? Is that a vector? No way. There you go. I think I just found a vector. I've not seen that before. Ranged weapons. Yeah, VS SMG. That's a vector. That's amazing. DPS is 1250. Uses 45 caliber. We only have 50 rounds of that right now, unfortunately. I was hope. Okay, so in, in the real world, there's two variants of this. You have the 45 variant and the... Actually, no, there's uh, three variants. But there's the 45 variant and then the 9 millimeter. And then I think there's like a... There's a, a much larger caliber. Uh, maybe 308? I don't remember. Uh, but either way, I was hoping that it was the 9mm variant because we have so much 9mm on us right now at 330. But that's still very cool. So I guess we'll save up 45 rounds so we can use that. Interesting. We have this right here as well. We'll open that up after we do this. Let's clear out the area of other basic zombies before we do that. All these guys here. Okay, we're all out of shotgun ammo now. So I guess that means we will throw on a G17. Yeah, let's throw on the G17 here. Put that there. Improvised suppressor. That's all I can take, I believe. What do we have in the sport shot? I think I have a muzzle brake on it. Increases rate of fire and reduces spread. Yeah, I think that's better than the noise generation thing. Not so worried about the noise. Okay. Already this area has been kind of nuts. Let's open this. Bandage? Oh, I didn't realize that was a medical one. <laughs> I love this weapon. 
Yeah, we're gonna start making a lot more of these. I already have a bunch of my inventory right now. I didn't mean to open the medical one. Oh well. Yeah, some more 45. We'll take it. We can make one of these, so let's use this. Make this. Thank you. Uh, could you imagine how ridiculously overpowered it would be if you could make more and more than one in this spot? Or hold on to more than one, even? Okay, let's see. Uh, we need this. Safe house weapon chest. Awesome. We have 31 more points to spend. Let's check around here. I guess extra starting fuel would be nice. Um, oh, you know what? Melee weapon damage seems good to me. Let's pump that up. There we go. We're gonna start hitting like a truck now, like an absolute demon. Alright, what else do we have in this area? There's an antiviral. I might take the antiviral, uh, depending on how long we stay in this area. Oh, hold on. We have a thing for this. Perfect. Oh, that was really fast, too. I thought they'd be a lot slower. That's great. Okay. I'm not sure where that spitter ran to. Oh. She's off screen, man. Come on. go all right that wasn't so bad another antiviral here damn i don't think i've seen three antivirals in well, I get, you know, two antivirals plus the one I could make manually, I guess. Oh, he hit me there? Unfortunate. I think we're going to uh, heal up and then go take another antiviral. May as well. We have plenty of batteries for now. We're only going to be making a few stops in this area realistically. Some more scrap. Um, might be ammo on this. No. Nope. All right. Finding that these trucks don't really, uh, they don't have like a high loot rate, but whenever they do have loot, it's ammo. Now, we used a lot of 45 there, but we gained a good amount of 9mm, I think. Yeah, we're at 256 there now, so we can really make use of this other SMG now. The goal here is to continue saving 556. Five, Alright, we have to stop here if we want to go up this way, it looks like. 
continue saving 5.56 five, and 9 millimeters, so we have two good primary weapons to use in uh, the hell area, the hell region. Guys, if you haven't already made, left a like on the video, do me a favor and do so, so that way YouTube will put the video in front of more new eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, the sun is shining again. There's only one thing here. Hopefully it's gas. And we have to vault this. Oh, good. That was, that was great, actually. That worked out really well. I'm not sure why it stopped there, but I'm not mad about it. Okay, we'll take some clean water. And a brick. I don't know why I did that. Oh, yep, that's not good. I was hoping that I wouldn't jump over that and hit that uh, explosive, but I did. Luckily, we're alive. Where is the med kit? I only have one med kit? I thought I made more. All right, well, let's just use it. Okay. I'm going to back up for a moment so that way that poison can clear up. There we go. one of these. No gas here. That's rather unfortunate. We're going to have to stop in the middle of nowhere then. Let's take this. 7.62 and 9mm. We'll take it. Specifically for the 9mm. Wait, am I using 9mm right now? This whole time? I am. Oh my god. I thought I was using the 45 tactical. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's put the 45 tactical on. <laughs> That's my bad. Well, at least we end up with more at the end of the day. At least there's that. I got my handguns mixed up here. All right, nothing of value to loot down here. There's a couple of buildings over here I could loot, but I just don't think it's worth doing. Okay, we're going to end up in the middle of nowhere here, but it's going to be worth it to make it to that safe house. This area might be a little spicy, though. All 
All right, let's see what we have. Just one thing over there. Couple spitters. Man, some of these hitboxes on these guys are so weird. Look at this. Oh, I think it's because they're down lower. Guess that makes more sense. There's our gas. This feels light. That's not good news. <laughs> it's not good news at all. Let's just go. At least we didn't encounter anything major there. So far, it's seeming like gas gets a little more difficult to find the further you get in the game. Spawning next to a spitter, that's not good. Alright, let's take it out. There we go. Nice, a battery. Ah, one of these. There's some fuel here, so we're going to take that and then we'll do that after. Which means we're going to have to clear out a bunch of these zombies nearby before we really dedicate to that. Yeah, only one. Uh-oh. Oh, I hate those guys so much. There's another one right there. Jeez. Why are all these bullets missing? A oh, battery. It's not looking like any zombies can come from this direction, so they're all going to come out of this building over here and then to the right side. They're all going to funnel in on this side here. Loot this spot first. What I can do is maybe take one of these Molotovs and throw it on just the outside of the barrier and just let them sit in that fire. Where is that painkiller? There it is. Let's see. Oh, it's already equipped. Okay.
This might lure over the big guy. That's why I want to use the Molotov here. Just kind of see what it does to him. Maybe it'll break off his armor or something. Five, five, six rounds there. I think the play is to take this. Nice. So where possible, we just kind of let them up, light them up on fire. It did break off a little bit of his armor there, which was good. I didn't have to spend a single bullet here. The thing is, though, is I used up both of my uh, Molotovs there. It doesn't look like the fire actually did damage to the barrier either. Though I will say it's lower damage overall. It does create a bit of uh, passive damage over time while you're just swinging away at them, which is nice. And all the while, we now have almost 800 rounds of 556. What I would like to do is find an extended mag for this, though, so I can have a lot more. Okay, 30% movement speed, 25% melee attack speed. Let's get movement speed here. That 25% attack speed is nice, too, but I think this is the better play. So we got that. We need to move this way. All right, we have a construction bench. Some gas right there. That's what we need. Let's see. Let's make melee parts. Another bloodluster. More melee parts. And another bloodluster. <laughs> We're really relying on the bloodlusters here. I think we're good on bloodlusters. Let's make some of these rags and alcohol. These specifically will help us if we can like get in a position where we're not so touchable by these big guys. These things will really help us kind of take care of them. Now let's make another med kit as well for when we really need big heals. And then a whole bunch of rags would probably be good. Or bandages, rather. Make one more. There we go. That should be good. I feel like we're doing pretty well there. I was going to go grab that gas and we're leaving. Ah. I'm glad he missed. All right. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we can make it to the safe house.
this should be able to help us get a little more situated here. I also, we're also going to see these uh, chests for the first time here. I'm not sure if we're going to need to actually open them up manually. Um, so this place is considered a safe house now, huh? That's pretty cool. Aiming laser. Do I have an aiming laser on this? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. I do. Uh, the wonder if that means they'll have a vendor here, maybe? There's our boxes. Okay, we got that. We don't have to spend batteries on them. Okay. Eh, a couple muzzle brakes here. That's unfortunate. Bandages and clean water. Explosives and tape. Okay, crafting bench and a fire. There is no vendor here. Can you imagine if there was? That'd be great. Uh, let's see. Let's make some remedies. How many can I make? Six. We used one antidote earlier. Let's make another one. And then some endurance. I wonder. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, maybe we could amp amplify the effect of these by, like, adding more plants to them, but there is no way to do that. I, something I do like about the safe houses as well is that it does not add to any of your infection as well as, uh, you know, like, you don't even see a health bar or anything like that down here. That's pretty nice. I do like that it is a little more safer. Kind of gives you a break. So you can actually look around, craft things without any time-based penalties. Okay. I guess that means we should go. All right. It's going to cost two to get to the city street. And then from here, hopefully we get enough gas to make it to the city bridge. We're almost caught up to where we left off. Oh, I want to stop... I think we might skip the military outpost this time, unless I desperately need a uh, antiviral, I guess. I do have one. I'm trying to hold off on using it for now. We'll see what happens here. Because we can get one of that military outpost for sure. At the very least, we'll be able to craft one. All right, I see a supply thing and a crafting bench. We have to go in over here where these other zombies are, though. So I kind of got a lucky accident over there. I shot an extra time and actually hit a guy. Ooh. I don't know if those actually do damage. I know they make a lot of noise. Let's see what this has. Five, five, six, and nine millimeter. We need them both. We're taking them both. Heck yeah. With that said, let's go ahead and put on our other SMG. Aiming laser. Pistol extended mag. Uh, improvised suppressor. What else do we need on it? Uh, scope? Can we put a rifle scope on it, maybe? Nope. I haven't found any red dots, so it is what it is. Alright. 
cool. I should probably use some stamina stuff. Why does it say zero? Oh, I'm an idiot. I keep thinking this vector is nine millimeter, so it's sad that I was using my nine millimeter. Turns out I was it's forty-five. Ah, oh, shoot. I mixed this all up really bad. That's okay. Still have this G17. That's nine millimeter. I'm a big dummy. Keep mixing these calibers up. What game was it that I played recently that had both calibers? I think it... Oh, Escape from Tarkov. It has the 45 variant as well as the um, 9mm variant. I think it is the... It's Rainbow Six Siege that I played a little bit of that has the 308 variant. I believe it's the 308 variant. Guys, there's more gas here by this horde of zombies. I never put the suppressor on this. There's an antiviral here. Placing that battery right away. We love to see it. Okay, we have three gas. Let's get out. Then we're just going to go straight here. We're going to skip this. We actually can't go over there anyway. It doesn't allow us to. We cannot go adjacent to that. So we're just going to go straight here. Try to find gas immediately. It's probably going to make me cross over this bridge and run back, which is going to be a problem. I'm not sure how this area is going to work, because this is the first time I've come here since actually lowering the drawbridge. So let's see how this works. Hopefully it's not a giant endless horde. Whoa. I guess this is what happens when a bunch of them kind of cluster up on top of each other. Just kind of breaks them. That's the control room. Is that down below here? Hmm. That's the generator room. Try to draw the attention of one of these guys at a time so I can just hit him with the melee weapon. Ugh. That's not good.
Oh good, the gas is right here. This is, oh, that's heavy. Why did that just explode? I was nowhere near that. Good news is we didn't have to fight anything major here. I did take a hit, but it's not bad. I'm really sad that I missed up my calibers for the vector, though. Excellent news. We're leaving. Actually, before we go, let's repair our engine. Make sure we make the most of that when we can. Okay. What is this? Abandoned military bases. All right. In this area, we're going to go straight to the 556. Five, we're going to just lay waste to everything. I want to clear everything out. Give us as little risk as possible. This is, uh, this is where it's completely new territory right here. If you made it to this point in the video, please leave a like on it. That way YouTube will put it in front of new eyeballs for us. I appreciate it. Is there a suppressor on this? I don't have an extended mag for that, do I? So, oh, I have an uh, AR. There we go. Or what is that? What is this slot? Extended mag, we have a scope, that. Aiming laser, maybe? We have aiming lasers. Why is it not on there? Now it is. There we go. Armored tank, are you kidding me? Well. I don't know if that's hitting him at all. That's... <laughs> that's a fun thing, I guess. What the hell just happened? Okay, I see the sparks hitting him now, but... Uh, his armor's not breaking at all. Oh, there it goes. I see what I'm supposed to do there now. Gotta make him run into something, melee him to break his armor off, and then shoot him. Walking tank. Damn. That took a lot of, uh, a lot of rounds, but we got him. So yeah, that's what we have to do there. We have to make him run into something so he stuns himself, smack him a few times to break his armor, and then we can shoot him from there. That's not so bad, circumstantially, when we're not running into a million other things. If we can find them alone, it's fine. Oh, he's armored, too. There you go. Antiviral right there.
Hit the other guy, please. Ugh. Sometimes you don't get that little bit of a lunge and it makes it very awkward. Lots of armored zombies here, man. Glad we have these bloodlusters. These guys, though. Oh, they spit fire. What the hell? And they explode. Fire away achievement unlocked. Noticing today that I'm losing my radical placement a lot, that's kind of a concern for me. There's been a couple times in uh, some pretty tense spots where I've lost placement of my radical. Don't like that. I only killed two out of the three I saw. Oh, there's one right there. Couldn't even see him. All right, that one didn't explode in fire. Where is this? I am on fire myself. Didn't know that could happen. Okay. Not much left in this. Could grab another anti-vial right here. And I think we're going to, and then we're going to leave. We don't want that there. Where did my bandages go? I don't really care to go into the basement. We're just going to go. We have officially made it further than we ever have before. I want to go over here to the town because there's a vendor here. We can sell a whole bunch of stuff, get a bunch of knowledge. Maybe get some ammo for our guns. I felt good just kind of lighting everything up there. That was nice. The only thing that would make this better is an M249 or an M4A1. Messy one, do you read over? I read you. I'm just checking in to let you know. You're getting very close to that signal source. That's if the tracker is still working correctly. Okay, great. How does it look up there anyway? Hellish. Oh, that sounds grim. What are you seeing? Whole area is burned out. Hmm, it's been too temperate for forest fires. Perhaps someone lit them on purpose? They did a good job. Yes, perhaps we should be more cautious. We've seen what these people are capable of with these devices. They may, or, they may have more in store for us, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, first things first, we need to stamina up. And we need to fix the car a little bit. And then see where we are. We need to find out where this vendor is. Let's go down to the bottom left first. Construction table. Uh, I mean, we're right here. Let's make some more of these bloodlusters. I think we killed two since we moved down here, so let's make make three more. For every one we break, we make an, an additional one, you know?
We've made a few, we've used a few bandages, so let's make a few more. And then we're good. Not gonna fight anything that I don't need to fight. Alright, this is bolted. I have this armored zombie here, though. Realistically, only seeing that we could get some clean water out of it, so I'm just going to skip this for now. There's a tank here. There's the gas next to the tank, of course. Oh, he's outside. Where's this gas? Oh, it's down there. You'd think with how that tank operates, it would just bust that door down <laughs> with just a punch or two. Okay, we got what we need there. Now the vendor is up this way, and we're just attracting all the attention of these zombos. Hey, man. All right, he's got a red dot. He's got a bunch of 556. Five, he has an MP5 that uses 9mm. We already have a 9mm SMG. He doesn't have any otherwise, though. So let's just sell him some useless stuff. Like this Torin, this other Torin, uh, this sports shot rifle, that one, this G17, flare gun. We have no shotgun ammo. Oh, vendor knowledge unavailable. I guess we ate it all up already. All right, let's buy red dots and five, five, six. Red dots going to go on this in place of the scope. A little bit better damage. Uh, squeeze on through here. Hello. And we're going to go. Just a quick stop on through. All right. Military checkpoint. Making decent progress here. The big thing is we just need to get gas and keep moving. Make the most of the antivirals we have on hand. Uh, I hear guns. So that's interesting. These stairs are broken. There's one of these big guys right here. Armored big guy. Antiviral right here. Hmm. We're going to come back for this antiviral. Don't want to use it now when we're moving in the opposite direction. It's best to grab it when we're leaving. When we're trending outward. All those guys are going up that way. There's another armored big guy there. This place is extremely ominous. Not much left on that. What's out this way, though? There's something more here. More gas? 
Oh, that was not much in there either. Shoot. All right, we might make a couple trips here. All those guys are still moving over towards that building, so we might be able to sneak around them if we go the right way. This guy kind of is a little close. Don't like that. Ah, they're all still right here cutting me off. Hmm. Don't really want to get into an engagement with all these guys. Especially considering the big guys right there, but I might have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Shoot. Oh, boy. Gun jam. Oh, my sword broke. Okay, that was, <laughs> that was free. If they're just going to let me do that, you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, they're just letting this happen. This is uh, not so bad. I have to take both gas tanks here, and on the way out, I need to grab that antiviral. Hi, boys. I got very lucky with how that uh, big guy played that. He just kind of stood there and took the damage. I was so far away from him, he probably just couldn't really target me. I don't really know. All right, we go around the right side here. There's those two armored guys. They're kind of stuck there. It's worked out really nicely, though. This guy's a concern, though. Big armored... Big armored tank man. Maybe if I keep him off screen, he'll stay over there. He did before. Okay, let's stamina up a little bit. We're in good shape. We're in really good shape. So if 850 rounds of 556 five, here. We have a safe house here. Excellent news. This run's going pretty well. Something's about to explode? I'm not sure. I just heard a mine. Radar, do you copy? We read you. What's your status? Spotted a marker on the side of the road. Let me just check the coordinates. There's a signal source nearby. It's not very strong. But it might be what we're looking for. See what you can find and report back. Out. Okay, so we are not at the safe house. We're in between areas here we have to find the source of transmission we got a bit of a side task here well it is a main quest but also like on the side of what we're trying to do you to make sure to not step in the fire as we learned a little while ago oh what that's a turret of some kind. We have this right here as well. Oh. 
That's not good. Um, let's see if we can lob stuff at it. Maybe a grenade? Nice. That did perfect. Bit of a fence here. Wants me to go all the way around. I guess we shall oblige. Okay, we need to lure this guy into this mine. No! Oh, that was a waste. Tragic, tragic waste. know what we have to do here. Just gotta make him run into a wall. That's not what I wanted to do, but yeah. I come hit this wall for me, dude. Uh, he just skated right off that. That's no good. He's on fire. It's not hitting any of these walls. Oh, that hit me. There it is. Hey, we got our three hits in. We back off. Bit of an awkward spot to fight this guy. Oh, we got him. The fire. <laughs> I think fire did most of the work there, but I'm not mad about it. I wanted to shoot a couple bullets at him to lure him into the mine to kind of get a start on him, but I stepped too close. They have a very generous range. Okay. You stuck up there? I think that guy's stuck. Some 5.56. Five, we take those. These guys are difficult to see in the dark. I love that the fire grows as you do more damage to those guys. That's really cool. You can actually see the damage you're doing to them. Generator right there. And a whole lot of zombos.
That worked out really nice. Um, he's upset that he's on fire and just, oh, oh no, I had to use this. Uh, let's see, carry capacity, unarmed damage, and melee resistance, we're taking that. I'm just gonna pop this antiviral here. I can't let that damage me. I stepped too close to it. I'd rather do straight up health damage because I can heal that. Do I hear another one of these guns? I hope there's another antiviral inside here. All right, I'm going to turn this on and there's going to be a boatload of zombies rushing me. Uh, I can't actually turn that on. I get no option to do so. Um, ah, there it is. Okay. No zombies actually rushed out. There's a bunch in here, though. Some stuff. What does this do for me? Uh, I guess we'll just do it. M249. Excellent news, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent news. Let's change out our uh, our guns here. Aiming laser. Red dots. Suppressor. And quick draw mag. All right, it's about to get real spicy with this thing. The tank inside here. Is this an alarm that's about to go off? This might set off an alarm on me. Yep. Unfortunately, no antiviral in there, but there's one over here, apparently. Wait, there's gas in there? Where? I don't see the gas. Y'all gonna come out or what? No, 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 no. This is not how I die. Oh boy. This is spicy. Not much in there, but it's something. Some more 9mm. We need more 45. We only have 42. <clears throat> okay, uh, I need to stamina up. I have to open this door and let this big guy in. It's a knowledge thing? No. Ah, that hits me. He's armored. That's awful news.
Can I not throw this indoors? I can't, really, can't throw this indoors, apparently. That's weird. There you go. Come on outside. Oops. Oh, that's a big gun. Do your stomp. Hey, do your run right here. Nice. Oh, these guys are a pain. But it is satisfying to take them out. Okay, here we are. Okay, what the hell are these, he says? There's only one thing here? What's going on here? Here's this antiviral. Let's take it. We're out of batteries now. There's more things I need to investigate. Here's this. Status true death. Responded poorly to serum 48. Rigor set in earlier than expected was not present in previously animated state. Terminations. Serum 48 lacks the sequencing required to repair the cells, though it did achieve some restoration. It's possible that rather than reversing the infection, we may be able to at least enhance the underlying immune system's ability to react. It is promising, but still disappointing. Notes, more subjects will be needed to will be needed and antibodies collected in order to make this work. We could this could be the cure to the problem that we've been looking for. Oh man. Apparently there's one more thing. Maybe it's in here and I just missed it. There it is. Canisters. Yep. Oh, I'm glad that I didn't hit that. Jesus. Didn't think I was that close to it. Look at this guy tweaking out. Gun jam. This area is quite large, wasn't it? Report to in the end? Oh, no. Uh, there might have been a thing like that. That radio thing I saw in there might have needed to use. That's unfortunate. I thought going back to the vehicle would have done it. My mistake. This is no more zombies. I just have terrible flashbacks of the, um, the bridge where it was just an endless spawn. I assume this thing in here is where we need to report. 
This right here. Yeah, I see the arrow now. That's my mistake for missing it. Radar, or we read you. What have you found? Some sort of medical facility. It's overrun. Oh, okay. Grab Amy. I'll grab Amy. One second. Hey, what's up? You're in a medical facility? There's documents talking about a cure. Sorry, did you just say cure? Yeah, something about Serum 48. This is news to me. From what Dr. Stedman told me, there wasn't any working work being done after the fall on finding a cure. A vaccine, perhaps, but reversing the changes that have been made. It just seems impossible. Was there anything else? Temporary, like a small lab. Oh, okay, anything useful? We can use all the equipment you can find. What are you seeing? Pods, like chambers. For humans? What the hell are they doing out there? Something is definitely off. Was there anything else? That's everything, I think. Okay, be safe. Roger out. This incessant beeping. Right, we have less than three full bars of health left. I think I can survive maybe three hits from a basic zombie. So uh, survival is going to be tough th from here on out. This is why they put this little stop on the side, though, to kind of make us feel a little bit more stressed out about what materials we have before we approach the end. Based on that, I'm not sure if we'll be able to complete the, complete the game on this run, but that's okay because we can make a, you know, an, basically the same strategy is just to go through every area at the very beginning, stockpile resources, and then from there on out, just every time you have to stop for gas, make your choices alongside, you know, going to safe houses and vendors and stuff like that to make the most of it. Get all the resources you can. All right, let's go. I do believe we're on our way to a safe house now as well, so that's nice. Yes, very good. Okay, some yarrow. This is a uh, different. This is a, yeah. This is a very different type of uh, safe house. And we have these boxes here. Some bandages, oil filter, salt tape, scope for a rifle. We do have eighty-four uh, knowledge to call in, so there's that. Let's see. Was I working on before? Melee damage? Let's cap that out, shall we? Basically getting double damage on that now. Throw distance, fire damage, explosive damage. 10% XP gain when a volunteer dies. Let's cap out health benefits. Plus one starting fuel. And put a little in speed there. All right. Okay, from here, let's see. We're going to Supply Depot next. Is there gas here? There should be gas here. Another construction table? Game did me dirty there. Might have been wrong about the safe, uh, yeah, the safe area. I'm still getting infection here. It just kind of hid the bar when we were in that other town. So I'm not sure if it's different there or not. Another crafting table?
Was it out back? How is there no gas here? That's a pretty lame safe house. No, we just have to go. Which means we're gonna have to stop middle of nowhere on our way to the supply depot here. Our priority at this point though is to just get gas. That's all we need to worry about is just get gas and continue on through the game. Volunteer, do you copy? I read. Oh, we're supposed to stop here. That's why. I read you. I need you to stop. We got a strong strong reading coming off a location near you. I'm almost certain this is the signal we've been looking for. Okay, where is it? Somewhere north of your position. Not far. We've got a good feeling about this one. Okay, I'll check it out. You're a long way out, so I might be wrong. Let's see what you can do. All right. Let's use the uh, M249 for this. Suspi suspicious signal. Okay, I see fire. Gas right there. All right, we're going to bring the gasoline back to the car. So that way we don't have to worry about actually fueling it up if we need the kind of panic leave. Yeah, it doesn't even require us to have gas to leave, so this is a very intended thing, too. I feel like the, this might be a thing for the rest of the game, based on how it keeps doing it. Really making us work for this end game. We hit like an absolute demon with the melee, dude. Okay, seeing this. Oh, we can make an antiviral. Good. Very good. Pop a bless. That's uh, a very big help, actually. I think we found where we're supposed to go here. There's a tank in there of some kind. We have these explosive barrels we can utilize, though. Speaker on the beacon burst with static. Hello? Volunteer. Why are you interfering with my work? What is all of this? This will be your final test. This will show the council not to interfere with my work. What do you want? It is simple. I want to be left to my work. Do not come looking for me any further. I'm sorry it has to come to this. Wait. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, rip Juliet. I got instantly killed because I got hit by the, uh, the tank there right away. I panicked because I was almost hit by these guys. I tried to run out, but the door closed. I didn't realize that. We'll know that for next time. That's really unfortunate. This area is actually, it doesn't seem too difficult based on what we had. I had an M249. I could have made short work of all these smaller guys. I think there was only, what, four? I killed the three right here. There's one right here. I don't see any more on screen. There might be some over here somewhere, but it's hard to tell with the red smoke. And then just the tank. And the tanks themselves aren't hard to fight, especially if we could lure them into, like, the fire over here. Or these barrels that didn't explode over here. Unfortunate. That's okay. I wonder if what kind of other starting stuff we'll be able to buy, though. Man, we were looking good for that run, too. They just kept throwing everything at us to slow us down. Alright, we have a hoarder, hoarder, and farmer. We're gonna take the farmer, because they're the only one with a gun. A shotgun. We have 625 supplies. New items available at level 55. Hmm. Hmm. M60 drops. That might be a 762... LMG. I know the AK-47 is 7.62 as well. SR-110 is probably 7.62 version of the uh, sports rifle. Oh, that's a tough loss to deal with. Poor Juliet. She was a champion, though. She made it really far. Really far. Well... I think what we'll do is buy the M60 drops. So we can start finding some of those out there. With that said, guys, we're going to end the video on this, this spot right here. On the next video, we'll get started with this run. See how far we can make it with the farmer. Sound good? Thank you all so much for watching the video. I am very excited to see what the rest of this game has for us. Hope you've been enjoying it still. Thank you for leaving likes, comments, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon for more.